Hello folks, Everchanger here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Blaze Black 2. Last time, we went to the Relic Passage, and we caught every Pokemon that we could possibly catch there for the moment. And this time, once again, we are going to be catching even more Pokemon that we do not yet have. This time, we are going to be heading out to the Desert Resort. So I'm going to stock up on a little bit of provisions here, and I'm going to meet you guys up in the Desert Resort. Right up here in the Desert Resort, there is in fact only one Pokémon in this outer area that we do not yet have. It's relatively rare, but I'm hoping it'll show up without too much trouble. Aha! Here it is, it's Rufflet. Basically the male counterpart to Vullaby. It's an interesting Pokémon because it has this sort of Native American look to it, with that little feather on its head, but when it evolves it turns into a more, yeah, go America kind of Pokemon, which is a little bit... weird, I guess? I don't know, maybe it's a commentary on something. Anyway, let's try and catch it. There we go, we got Rufflet. I was a little bit worried because Rufflet is not the easiest Pokemon to catch and it kept on getting hit by the Sandstorm, but luckily we caught it without too much trouble. It stands up to massive opponents. Not out of courage, but out of recklessness. But that is how it gets stronger. Again, I feel like this Pokemon is a commentary on something or other. Anyway, now that we got Rufflet, that is the only Pokémon in the outer part of the Desert Resort that we do not yet have. Which means we are now heading inside, and on the inside part of the Desert Resort there is also a single Pokémon that we do not yet have. And it does not show up as often as Rufflet, so wish me luck in finding this thing. Aha! Here it is, Drifloon! Only has a 5% encounter rate, so that did take a little while. Unfortunately, this thing is also not immune to sandstorms, so hopefully we'll get lucky and catch this thing before it goes down to the sandstorm. We probably will. Drifloon isn't that hard to catch. I promise. There we go, that wasn't too hard. Probably four or five tries. Anyway, Drifloon was caught. This Pokémon is weird because it was very hard to obtain in Diamond and Pearl. Not sure why. These Pokémon are called the Signpost for Wandering Spirits. Children holding them sometimes vanish. Jeez, that is just creepy stuff. Anyway, that is the only Pokémon out here in the outer part of the Desert Resort that I wanted to go after. So, let's see if we can get all the way up here to the Relic Castle, because that is where the next batch of Pokémon I want to catch can be found. So right in here, in the Relic Castle, there are two floors. There's this top floor, and then there's a lower floor. On the top floor, there are six Pokémon I want to get, so let's see if we can find them. Aha! This is one of the rarer ones, I think. This is Golet. This is an interesting Pokémon because, although it is Ground Slash Ghost, it evolves into something that can fly. And anyone who's seen... I believe it is the 14th Pokémon movie where one of these things stars? Man, it is hilarious. Darn it, I thought we were gonna get it in one shot. Oh well. Critical Capture pulls through again. Golat was caught. I really don't feel bad admitting that this is probably one of my favorite Pokémon. Ancient science fashioned this Pokémon from clay. It's been active for thousands of years. I just really like Golat and its evolution. It's so cool. I believe I used one in my very first playthrough of a Unova-based game, which is pretty awesome. Aha, uh -huh, here's another Pokémon that we need. This is Bronzor. 
Another interesting Diamond and Pearl Pokémon, it's basically a mirror. At least that's what its Japanese name would suggest, because, but uh, I don't think I'd have a very easy time seeing my reflection in that thing. Another fun fact about Bronzor is it has an unused back sprite in Diamond and Pearl that is exactly the same as its front sprite, which means this Pokémon was originally going to have a face on the back as well, which is interesting. It does not have that face in the final version of the game. Pretty interesting stuff. And we caught it, which is super awesome. Gotcha, Bronzor was caught. Add that data to the Pokedex. They are found in ancient tombs. The patterns on their backs are said to be imbued with mysterious power. Neat stuff. Bronzor is pretty cool, though I don't believe I've ever actually used one. Anyway, onwards. Oh wow, very next encounter is a Chingling, which is one of the rare Pokémon that I am looking for. Chingling, honestly, I don't see the point of this thing, because it's the pre-evolved form of Chimeco, and it was introduced a generation later. And Chimeco itself, honestly, isn't too terribly great, so I don't get why they didn't give it a um, an evolution instead of the pre-evolution that we see in front of us. I'm noticing that thing has last resort. I'm not sure if that allows it to knock itself out. I hope not, because that would suck. Luckily, it's keeping on failing at it, so... Hopefully, we can catch this thing without too much trouble. There we go. Chingling was caught. Not sure if we were in any danger of that thing knocking itself out, but if we were, I'm glad it didn't. Last Resort is not a move I'm very familiar with. There is an orb inside its mouth. When it hops, the orb bounces all over and makes a ringing sound. I feel like that would be a little uncomfortable. Oh well. <laughs> Aha, yet another Pokémon we don't have. The very next encounter again. I'm very pleased with getting lucky with this. This is Baltoy. I believe this thing is based on a Dreidel or other kind of spinning top. Although what it evolves into is really kind of a stretch in terms of what it's based on. But we actually caught it in one shot, which I'm pretty surprised about. Baltoy usually gives me a decent amount of trouble trying to catch it. Discovered in ancient ruins, it moves by spinning around and forms a group when it finds others. Notice how it's called the Clay Doll Pokémon. That's interesting. Aha, yet another Pokémon we do not yet have is Nummel. At least I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. This Pokémon is... odd. Like... I guess it's supposed to be some sort of camel, but it, it looks more like one of those toy camels that you'd see in the background of a Toy Story movie than an actual camel. And what it evolves into is really not as camel-like as Nummel is, which is odd. Kind of makes me want them to introduce a more, I guess, realistically proportioned camel Pokémon in the future. I don't know, maybe that's just me. There we go, caught Nummel. I believe that took three throws to catch. Not too terrible, to be honest. The magma in its body reaches 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. Its hump gets smaller when it uses fire-type moves. Neat. Anyway, one more Pokémon to find on this floor. Let's see if we can find it, because it's a rare one. Aha, here it is, Cubone. It's the last Pokémon in this floor I want to find. Pretty nice how it showed up relatively quickly. That did not take long at all for a 5% encounter rate. Anyway, let's see if we can catch it. Nice.
Nice, we caught it. Very nice. That battle reminded me that Lucario is weak to ground-type moves, so that could be interesting for our near future. When it thinks of its dead mother, it cries. Its crying makes the skull it wears rattle hollowly. My god, that is so sad. Like, Pokemon bring it on the feels right here, people. Anyway, now that we've got all the Pokemon on this floor, I would like to head down to the lower floor, because there are four Pokemon down here that we cannot find on the floor above. So, let's see if we can get them. Some of them are pretty awesome. Aha, uh -huh, here's one. This is Shuppet. As you can probably tell, there are quite a few... I guess paranormal Pokemon down here in the lower areas of the Relic Castle. I really like that. I feel like it adds to the atmosphere of this place. Anyway, let's see if we can catch this thing. Dang it! There we go! Caught Shuppet. Fun fact, this is my sister's favorite Pokémon. Or is what it evolves into her favorite Pokémon? One of those two. It feeds on the dark emotions of sadness and hatred which make it grow steadily stronger. I like Shuppet. Really simple design. It's always nice to have just a really simple design every once in a while. Aha! Uh -huh, here's one. Duskull. Yet another ghost-type Pokémon. Probably one of the two really well-known ghost types of Generation 3. Duskull and Shuppet are kind of like counterparts in a way, because they're both ghost types that appear around the same time in the story. However, the similarities end once you get past their second forms, because Duskull has a third evolution, and Shuppet does not. Interesting little bit of trivia. Of course it had to catch on that one. I now have exactly 69 Pokeballs in my backpack. Because, of course. It loves the crying of children. It startles bad kids by passing through walls and making them cry. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Some of these Pokedex entries we're getting this episode are just really messed up. Oh wow, right afterwards we get Litwick to show up, which is a rarer Pokemon down here, so I'm glad it showed up right away. Litwick is a fire- wow, voice crack. Litwick is a fire slash ghost Pokemon, and I really, really like its evolutionary line. I've never actually used it in a playthrough before. But I really, really like this Pokémon. But of course, nothing ever comes easy. Nice. Gotcha. Litwick was caught. Very good. Alright, Pokédex, what you got for us this time? Its flame is usually out, but it starts shining when it absorbs life force from people or Pokemon. Like, oh my god! All these Pokedex entries this episode with all these ghost types, they're just really creepy. It's a wonder everyone on this planet isn't dead. Anyway, there is one more Pokemon that I want to find down here, and it is a rare one, so... Let's see if we can find it. Alright. I'm gonna level with you guys. I'm usually not the kind of person to give up on these things, but I've been here for 40 minutes and I haven't seen hide nor hair of the last Pokemon that the document that the hack creator provided says is here. And I really don't think there is enough difference between 5% and 4% to warrant this kind of disparity. So I'm going to go forward and say that the Pokémon that I was under the impression was here is, in fact, not. Because 40 minutes and seeing no sign of this thing that has a 4% encounter rate, I find that quite unlikely. However, we will be getting a chance relatively soon 
to obtain the evolution of this Pokémon, and then, once we get to the post-game, we will be able to breed it to get this Pokémon after all. But for now, I think for the sake of my sanity, I think we are just gonna call it there. So, this past episode on Pokémon Blaze Black 2, we caught Rufflet, Drifloon, Baltai, Nummel, Bronzor, Golet, Chingling, Cubone, Duskull, Shuppet, and Litwick. And unfortunately, one Pokémon I'm pretty sure I've been had on. So instead of obtaining 12 this episode like I planned, we only obtained 11. Ugh. So, without further ado, thank you all for watching, and next time we are going to be heading out to Route 5 to catch even more Pokémon. I will see you guys next time!